Welcome to the desert and inside Chase Field in Phoenix. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Philadelphia Phillies and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And today on the hill, Madison Bumgarner. What do you look for here? He's racked up over 2,000 strikeouts in his career. He's such a competitor out in the mound. So fun to watch him work. I'm excited for this one. Brandon Jordan Leading off stands in for the Phillies. The Jordan, hitter. number six on Brandon. the National League batting average Jordan. leaderboard. And here it comes. That one lifted to left. Peralta under it. Drops into the glove. One down. Let's take a look at the lineup. And a big factor for them in recent games, Reese Hoskins. Yeah, and one of the most feared hitters in all of baseball right now. This is a guy the lineup relies on for big-time production. Leading the National League in home runs. Watch out when he comes to the ditch. Here's Bryce Harper. Foul ball. No score just getting started. Top of the first. Next pitch misses. And the count is one and one. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Mad bump deals. Right through there. Got him. Down on strikes. And he knew it. Oh, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but hurt. certainly got away with the, the location game. there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Chris Bryant in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. And the 1. Yeah, there's a ball. Ball on the strike. And a good eye there. The pitch. And another ball. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. The other way, and he beats the shift. Big knock there to keep the inning alive and an opportunity to put something that in the good. gap and give the, the Phillies the lead. JT, real mutual. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. In the air, right field. Smith racing over to make the catch. Billy Strand won. And now the Diamondbacks will get their first turn at back. No score. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Bottom of the first, and today's starter, Aaron Nolan. 
His career ERA's been under four. What I like most about him is his reliability. Takes the ball every fifth day, ready to go whenever the manager calls. We go to the bottom of the first. Now it's the second baseman, Josh Rojas. The second baseman, Josh The pitch. That's off the mark. One and oh. pitch that's inside the why to kick the pitch and that one is in for a strike back-to-back -back fastballs in that last one called for a strike probably go away but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off the 2-2 two -two. Popped up. That one gets down for a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. Be Didn't exactly barrel the baseball there, but he stayed on it. And he stayed through it well enough to punch it the other way for the base hit. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Hayden Smith. In there for strike one. Kicks and fires. Strike two. Quickly into an 0 2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Hit on the ground, might be two. Hoskins over to second, and it's a double play. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Tell Marte up to the plate. That one's in there on one. And he deals. And a swing and a miss. I think he was sitting off speed there. Two outs. Got him looking. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. We played an inning. No score. Back here at Chase Field, Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. That one finds the zone. 0-1. And fouled off. And a pitch. Got him. One out in the second. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. The first baseman, number 17, Reese Hoskins. And first offering is fouled off. Hey. 
Next offering is in for a strike. Gary Simmons has to play duty in this one. Well, with Simmons, it's not always your standard strike zone, Boog. It kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone and then can be tighter in others. But I think the important thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent. So you got to stay ready up there. Second inning here, no score. And it's even up. The wind of the pitch. Stays alive. One down, base is empty. And there's nope. ball four. Ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. That's Runner on at first with one call at the play. Kyle, Kyle Schwarber. He swings and fouls one off. The 0-1. Ball one. Ball one. Uh, one oh. Good eye right there. At the belt and fires. And it's fouled away. Next offering is fouled back. Here's the 2-2. And down on strikes. Two away down. That Gene Segura at the plate the here. Gene Segura. there and it's 0-1. Here comes a pitch. Out to short. Ahmed handles. They take the force out and that is that. We go to the bottom of inning number two. We're tied, nothing done. And now it's Christian Walker. His July and August splits Leading there. For the Diamondback, the first baseman, Christian Walker. Nola, back to work. Foul ball. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Man, that was pretty gross right there. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Well, they were after him right there with one of his best Leading pitches. Up. Really surprised that one got away from him. That's a big hit him. So digging in, Seth Beer. Beer. First pitch, not close. And the 1 0. And there he goes. That's in for a strike. Throw, tag, out. A bullet from JT Real Muto.
Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. And a count one and two. Left hand batter waits. The punch out there, two out. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day that long. Exists. Not quite no in the strike field. zone, but he found Straight a spot there. that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. David Peralta at the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Right hater deals. And strike two. No score here in the second. Swing and a ball popped up. Segura makes the catch, and that'll do it. We'll move to the third with no score. And welcome back. New inning getting started. Here's Trevor Story now. Leading off for great speed and the great power. Side. A Trevor. great athlete, quite simply. Yeah. Yeah, he's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, he can do it and get it done. And a rare talent. So much fun to watch. Next offering way off the plate. The pitch. And delivers outside. That one is lifted in the air. Smith makes his way towards it. Can't get there. And now maybe extra bases. And that's a leadoff double. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. That pretty much split the zone down the middle. And those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Runner in scoring position now. And a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. So the lineup flips over, and here's the Phillies' leadoff man, Brandon Jordan. Glad to left his first time up. Foul ball there. And the pitch. That one fouled off. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Story at second with nobody out. Next offering is fouled back. Here's the 0 2. Stays alive. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look. Kelly brings it in and there's one down now batting left fielder Bryce Harper 
Bryce Harper to the plate. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. And that's in there for strike one. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. Fouled off. He was late. And a pitch. This one ripped, but foul to the right. Yeah, with two strikes here, you really want to miss outside the zone with that breaking ball. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And yeah, there's two away. Chris Bryant gets now a chance to hit here. The third baseman, Chris Bryant. In there for strike one. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Top of the third, no score. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Swing and a miss, and that is that. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. We're tied, nothing, nothing. And now the batter is Carson Kelly. So having more success well, against left-handed pitching this season, pitcher, as might be expected. Kelly! The right-hander back to work. Slapped foul. The wind of the pitch. And yeah, that's outside. The 1-1. One, one. And that's down it away. And the righty deals. This one in the air right field. Castellanos settles underneath it. Puts it away for the out. Batting eight. The third baseman, Drew. So up next, Drew Ellis. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, in an 0-0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. Next pitch inside, and that's ball one. And that's downstairs and outside. Count is two and one. Right-hander kicks, deals. And now it's three and two. And a pitch. 
Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. And he struck him out. And there's two down. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that enough. time, a little anxious. Nick. Oh, man. Two outs, base is empty. And now the shortstop, Nick Ahmed. First pitch, and he just misses. Righty to the plate. And he pumps it a strike. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. Here's a 1-1. Late on that fastball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that is that. Diamondbacks down quickly. And we are still scoreless. Here at the ballpark, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off, off the fourth, JT Real Muto. JT Real Muto. And here it comes. That's in there. Good eye in that spot. And now the lefty. Nope, that's the ball. On the ground, right side. And that's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. Like You're so much four. more likely to get something you can handle. Just Talk a simple young. ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in the play, and just hope it finds a hole. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Fought off foul. Chopped out in front of the plate. On to first, and Castellanos is out. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets out. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Hoskins pushes it foul. Real Muto, the runner at second with one away. Comes up empty on the swing, oh, with two now. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Nope. Next pitch is oh. downstairs. So now one and two to Reese. Out to short. Ahmed gets it to first. And there are two outs. Now batting, the center fielder, 
Kyle Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Man on second, two down. Check swing, went around. And it's nothing in two. Two outs and one in scoring position. Next one misses. Now one and two. And it's second. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. One left for Philadelphia. Still no score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the second baseman, Josh Rowland. The second baseman. Huh. The right hander back to work. That's through there for a strike. You'll one. Tapped softly on the ground. Segura throw to first. And a quick out number one. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping oh, the ball the out of the ball. air. Let's the defense the work field. behind him with another ground Very ball. Bad. Good execution. Now up next for Arizona, Haven Smith. And first offering is fouled off. Next one in the dirt. offering misses ball two the pitch that one fouled off kicks and deals and a swing and a miss already two gone here in the home fourth just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. Went down on strikes his first time through. And that one fouled off. A one down. And a foul ball. The O2. Well, he missed badly with that O2 fastball. The hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The one-two. Yeah, that skips in the dirt. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put them away. Next one off the plate inside. And it's three and two. Swung on, belted. That one back. And that is... Martinez, the uh, is 
third of the year. It's one nothing. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, but it paid off. Base is empty with two away. And now the first baseman, Christian Walker. Now he was plugged in his first trip to the plate. Yeah. In there, and it's 0-1. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just got to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Only two now. And now one and two. And now it's one and two. And now two and two. Two-two now. Stays alive. In the air, out towards right center. Schwarber gliding back. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. And he's in at second with a two-out double. Well, the last ten games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. Put a really nice, balanced swing on it, and when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box, and he'll feel real good about that one. Now it's the DH, Seth Beer. The batter, the designated hitter. And a foul ball. Beer. Walker stands at second with two gone. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Owen oh, two now. And that one a little bit high. Count is one and two. Runner leads away at second. Stays alive. Now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's gonna have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. pitch swing and a miss struck him out good job at damage control right there you could tell Marte with the blast for Arizona it's now one nothing welcome back ready now for the fifth inning and digging in for Philadelphia Gene Segura the second baseman Gene mad bump Segura. back to work there's a strike. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Hard hit, left side. Zips it across. Oh. One up, one down. Now batting. Shortstop. Trevor Story. Here's Trevor Story. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. And a foul ball.
Next pitch misses inside, and it's a ball to strike. One down, Phillies down a run. That one hit to right. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Back to the top of the lineup. So here's the Phillies DH. Brandon Jordan. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Next offering is in for a strike. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Story on the move. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to second. Great jump. When your catcher's not a great thrower, you have to do a better job at controlling the running game. And that's throwing over, that's stepping off, doing whatever you can to try to keep that base dealer's rhythm off. Well, they weren't able to do it right there. They're going to have to make some type of adjustment or guys are going to be running all game. The pitch. High in the air, out to right. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Two away. The left fielder, number three. Right. And now Harper. here is Harper. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And that's in there for strike one. Yo one. Line drive. Brings it in for the third out. Philly strand one, and it remains one up. Bottom of the inning, now the left fielder, David Peralta. Leading up for the Diamondbacks, the left fielder. The wind and the pitch. Peralta. And ball one. And a pitch. That one missed. Good eye right there. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. And a 3-0 finds the zone. The wind of the pitch. And it's filled up. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Leading up. And here's the catcher. Carson Kelly. Carson Kelly. In there for strike one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. 1-0. And the right-hander deals. And there's the strike. And he deals. In the air, right side. 
Castellanos settles underneath it, squeezes it, and there's one down. Now batting, third baseman, Drew Ellis. Down the third baseman, Drew Ellis. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Well, he threw that fastball right by him. Gives him a little bit of confidence, but in the back of your mind, you got to think, is he trying to set me up for later in this at-bat? Peralta, the runner at first, with one gone in the inning. And the 0-2. Oh, and a foul ball. He stays alive. The next pitch misses. And it's 2-2. Two and 2-2. Two. Righty delivers, stays alive. The 2 2. He swings and fouls one off. Here comes a pitch. High ball down the line. Castellanos makes the catch. And there's two away. Now batting. Shortstop. Dick. Amen. Nick Ahmed here to hit. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. And the pitch. One ball, two strikes. And a foul ball, he stays alive. He's got it. And that is out number three. One left for the Diamondbacks. But they still lead it one up. Back here in the desert, here's the third baseman, Chris Bryant. Hitting off to the floor, the third baseman, Chris Bryant. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. Next pitch is inside, and that is ball one. And now the lefty. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. 
Hit hard, base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff now. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high level yeah, spot yeah. right there. We've all seen a defensive shift make a big difference in defending against bull hitters, but it's not foolproof. He pulled it as expected, but he found a hole that time. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. And now it is JT Real Muto. Makes the grab one down. The right fielder, number four, Nick. Next to him, Nick Castellanos. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. That to right. Smith makes the play. And there's two away. Up next for Philadelphia, the first baseman, Reese. And now for the Phillies, Reese Hoskins. And it's fouled away. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Well, this looks like it's going to be a wasted opportunity. It's frustrating when you get the leadoff man on, but you can't get him into scoring position. They're going to need a big knock. Try to put something up on the board. 0-2 now. Squirts away a little bit. No movement. Now a ball and two strikes. At the belt and fires. And a ball two evens the count. Comes the 2-2. Hoskins pushes it foul. And now it's filled up. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. So close to getting out of it right there, but this inning still has life. The center fielder. So Kyle. two down, Kyle Schwarber, the next to hit. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. And what you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two outs. That one misses, and it's 2-0. Oh. Struggled a little bit in this one. A couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. Oh. That one to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Top of the order due up in the home half of the six. It's the Diamondbacks one, and the Phillies nothing. Back down for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Zach Eflin. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he did a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Bottom of the go. sixth inning. Go, 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 go. Here's Josh Rojas. The second baseman. And here it comes. Rojas. There's the strike. Eflin fills up the zone, forces contact. So not a huge strikeout guy, but he's going to make the hitters beat him. Doesn't issue a lot of walks, so the pressure is really on the batter to make something happen. Foul ball there. And that one hit to first. Has some trouble with it, but he wins the foot race to first. 
good job of knowing how much time he now had there. The right field. Payton Smith. Payton Smith stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And although you like the fact that the guy throws strikes, guy gets contact, and not always great contact, the fact that when you have runners on, if that ball's in play, there's still a good chance that a run gets pushed across, whether it's earned or not. Puts it in the air out towards left center. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. The automatic double kind of feels like enjoying cruise control in your car, dude. You don't need to keep the pedal down as you cruise into second base. Just no worries in the world. You know what? He put a really good swing on that one. Here's Cattell Martin. He went deep back in the fourth. A pretty important swing of the bat in this ball game. Yeah, bro, he, he didn't waste any time. He jumped all over that pitch and saw it the entire way. You talk about squaring it up. He didn't miss a stitch on the baseball. Swing and a ball popped up. And that one gets down. Fair ball. The throw in. Save at the play. And they take a two-run lead. Picks himself up an RBI. Kind of your classic jam shot looper right there. Paid a good pitch on the inside. Gotten to hit it off the handle, but he still muscled it out there. You just have to tip your cap on the mound. Man at first with one gone. Now here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona, Christian Walker. The first baseman, Christian that one down the line Walker. this looks like extra bases lead runner holds at third so two runners in scored position and just one out love how he let that ball travel trusted his hands nice job of going the other way and now it's going to be Seth Beer now that the designated hitter, Seth Beer. Next offering is down low, and it's 1-0. Command in the zone is such a crucial part of it, right? You know, it's not just throwing strikes, but it's throwing quality strikes. It's having quality misses as well. What's a quality miss? Missing just off the plate rather than over the plate. Ball Next two. pitch misses. Two balls, no strikes to count. Ball. No strikes. Two on, one out. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. Right-hander kicks, deals. And a two-one hammered, but foul. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. And a pitch. 3-2 now. Fouled off again. And it remains 3-2. and two. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. Left-hand hitter waits. And there's a foul ball. We're always having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. And the righty deals. On the ground to the left. Knocks it down. Oh, he throws it away. Pulls him to third safely as a run scores. Well, is low, and he can't pick it. Well, you can't give him two errors on that play, but that's pretty much what it looked like. Tried to stay with it after the bobble, and he might have pulled it off with a good throw, but it's very easy to rush the throw when you don't build it cleanly. A lot of times, guys don't have a good grip on it, and I think that was the case right there. 
Californian It's a good look and we make it dough Got a black voice and it's ready to roll Took off LA and touch down Rome I run them Paris, Tokyo We all in no control Live too fast, don't take it slow People last when I do this for Man, don't they know One away, runners at second and third David Peralta will hit now next No left fielder David Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. One down, runners at second and third. Next offering misses, now 2-0. And another ball. Let's see if he gives them anything to hit here. And they're all loaded up. That was Kim Bart right there. Four pitch walk. And the guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of his own. Carson Kelly. Kelly getting ready to hit. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Hammered on a line to the left, but he's hit. One run across, and that's going to roll to the wall. Peralta around third. He's in there. Three runs score. And it's now a six run lead. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Out of the bullpen for the Phillies, Kyle Gibson. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. Down the third baseman, Drew Ellis. Now batting, the third baseman, Drew. First pitch, okay. just misses. Right-handed reliever. So two balls and no strikes. On the ground, right side. Fires over to Hoskins. That's the second out. That's what a good sinker's designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the no ground, and throw some worms while you're at it. Short stop. Dick. Oh, man. So two down now, and here is Nick Ahmed. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. First offering misses badly for ball one. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position, and that's what he does. That one off the bad part of the bat, just a lazy fly ball. And that's a base hit. Well done, drives in the run. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there, and he found a way. Now at the plate, Josh Rojas. The For the fourth baseman. time tonight. Yeah. First oh, offering, Rojas. misses the mark. The hitting's going to come around. He's going to figure it out. But right now, his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense. The pitch. Hey. Ahmed off of first with two away. Next pitch is outside. Two and one. The 
pitch. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. He flexes his power with that swing, and they tack on to their lead. It's 9 nothing. That was one of those home runs where you really don't know if he got enough of it off the bat. Put a good swing on it, clearly, but I wouldn't say he really got the sweet spot on the back. The exit below wasn't anything too impressive, but it had all it needed for him to circle the pillows. Two outs, nobody on. Next to hit for Arizona, Payton so Smith. No really good view. piece of hitting last hey, time. Man. Going to the opposite field. Smith. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And now the one up the middle. Segura handles the chance, gathers, and throws to first. And that is the inning. We're through six full. It's the D-backs nine and the Phillies nothing. Back here at Chase Field. Now it's the second baseman, Gene Segura. The second baseman, G. The pitch. There's a strike. Action in the pen down there. Noe Ramirez appears to be getting loose. Mantiply getting cranked up as well. Yo won. Way out front for strike two. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Stays alive. Here's the 0-2. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit-by-pitch to lead off the inning. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? And fouled off. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. To the right side, takes it to the bag, that's one. Goes to second, oh, safe there. Brandon Jordan. Now it's going to be Brandon Jordan. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Gets on base, yes, but also some power. And a base hit up the middle. Segura flying around third on his way home. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. It's 9-1. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Now the Diamondbacks manager is out of the dugout, and he'll make a move to the pen. Madison Bumgarner will depart, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. So they turn to the lefty in this spot, Caleb Smith. He's pitching on two days rest. Here's Harper now. 
They've got a potent lineup, and when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. On the ground left side, six, four, three, it's a double play, and that'll do it for the seventh inning stretch time. It's the D-backs nine, and the Phillies one. And welcome back. Bottom of the seventh. Now here is Cattell Marte. With this kind of lead, the he can swing fielder. freely. Try Cattell. to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he Marte. loves to do. The wind of the pitch. Just missed. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Tracks it down for the out. One away. Lefties can definitely be a little pull happy up there, especially with now pitches bad. that they see First pretty well. Base. That was a good example. He yeah. hooked an outside pitch, hit that ball Walker. in the air to right, just not with much authority. And now Christian Walker. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, this guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Bounce to the left side. And he can't come up with it. That leaves him without a throw. And they don't get an out on the play. Clearly seeing the ball very now, well in this one. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Once yeah. in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. And next is the designated hitter, Seth Beer. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Kicks and deals. And now to a nothing. Left-hand batter waits, and there's the strike. We got two balls, one strike. Walker at first, one gone. Next offering is down low. And a pitch. Ground ball could be two. There's one, and it's a double play to end the inning. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the D-backs nine, and the Phillies one. I remember as a child, music made me smile. Some people call it rhythm and soul. I could never get enough of this. We're at the top of the eight. Here's Chris Bryant now. Leading off for the Phillies, the third baseman, Chris Bryant. And he deals. And a strike. And it's one and one. The wide to kick the pitch. And a count one and two. Ground ball up the middle. Rojas picks it up on the run. Oh. Sends it over to first. Ryan out of the play. The batter, the catcher, JT Real Muto. JT Real Muto steps in. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does.
Next Next offering, offering is downstairs. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Next offering is fouled back. Up the middle, Rojas picks it up, tosses the first, two up, two down. Showed us right there why he's considered one of the right best middle infielders in the sport. That's Nick. always a tough play tough going up the middle on the backhand, but what really made this play happen was that quick release, smooth exchange, and that was as smooth as it gets, and it had to be with the wheels going down the line. And here is Nick Castellanos. Whoa, right That's pitch downstairs, ball one. The 1 0. And a swing to miss. Kelly just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Out there to center. That'll drop in. Plays it on a hop. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his now bat that, stays in the, the zone patient. on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane and even when you don't get it great it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder Reese Hoskins stands in with two away as he takes a ball Swings through that one for strike one. one. The 1-1. One, one. That one missing inside. The 2-1. And that's in for a strike. Two-two. Two. That misses off the outside edge. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Three and two now. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. One left for Philadelphia. They trail it big. It's 9-1. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Here's the left fielder, David Peralta. Leading up for the diamond bat, the left fielder, Jason Gibson, back to work. Check swing, but he went too far. That's strike one. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game looking at the pitching matchup where you expected offense to score and not as lopsided as this, um, but yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. Next pitch is outside. Yeah, the right-hander deals. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. pitch and a foul ball he stays alive oh, next man. one misses two and two kicks and fires that one is absolutely belted that's back Turning, looking, and that one is gone. His 14th of the year, and they tack one on the board. It's 10-1. He's so good.
good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch on that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, now gets the ball, gets the home run. Chris Sir Anthony Dominguez has checked into the game. He has a great slider with tons of movement. And now the catcher comes up to him. Carson Kelly. Now batting, catcher, Carson. Yeah. In there, and it's on one. Next offering upstairs. Righty to the plate. Oh, that's it. And now it's even up. Well, you got to find a way to catch up to that pitch. Perhaps shorten the swing, eliminate the stride. That one came in hot, but right down the middle, you're saying to yourself, how did I miss that pitch? And make a quick adjustment. Three, two on the way. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And he walked him. Up oh, next up for the Diamondbacks. Drew Ellis. That one's in there, 0 and 1. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. The 0 1. Center field. Schwarber coming in on it. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And there's one away. The batter number 13. Shortstop, Nick Ahmed. And at first, now it's the shortstop, Nick Ahmed. First offering, and it just misses. Activity in the bullpen. Sam Kunra, the right-handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. Next pitch inside, and the count is 2-0. Yeah, there's the ball. And ball four to a board. You get a walk, and you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk, boo. Now back, second baseman. Here's the second baseman, Josh Rojas. First pitch, and he just misses. Righty delivers. On the ground, could be two. Over to Segura. On to first, double play. And that's the inning. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. Last chance coming up for the Phillies. You can never be like me. Yeah, I push until I bleed. And I keep it so 100, not afraid to show my teeth.
We go to the ninth. Here's the center fielder, Kyle Schwarber. Sitting off for the Phillies. Oh, yeah. The center fielder, Kyle Schwarber. Smith back to work. There's a strike. The wind of the pitch. Strike two. Here comes the pitch. That's down and in. One and two. One, two now. Stays alive. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One away. Gene Segura digs two. in now. Second base. Gene Segura. Out towards left center. Marte on the move to his right. Nice grab on the run. Two down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Trevor Story stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Just one out away, try to close it out. Swing and a pop-up. Walker under it. He's got it. Carlton and the Diamondbacks take the series opener here at home. The key to this game was that huge sixth inning. They jumped all over the opposing pitching. And it was like they knew what was coming. And that kind of confidence just takes the team to the finish line. And that's what they did. They got the win in this game. 10-1. 